The process is here to stay. Joel Embiid and the 76ers have agreed to a long-term contract extension to keep Joel Embiid in Philadelphia. And we're going to break it down for you here on 76ers Now by Chat Sports. I am Jake Chipper, and this is why you subscribe. Anytime there's breaking news, we got you covered here on the show. Rumors, analysis, everything you need to know about the Philadelphia 76ers all year long. We bring it to you. We're approaching 20,000 subscribers here on the channel, so help us out and hit that sub button. So Joel Embiid signing the extension with the Philadelphia 76ers. It's going to be a max extension worth $193 million over three years. The deal includes a player option for the 2028-2029 season. Embiid already had two years left on his original contract. So this extension will now expand his deal to a total of five years and overall value of $301 million. Embiid now becomes the third richest contract in NBA history behind Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Tatum signed a five-year, $314 million contract this offseason. And Jalen Brown signed a five-year, $304 million contract this offseason. So now Embiid, the third richest contract in NBA history. And this ties Joel Embiid to the 76ers for the next five years until Joel Embiid will be 35 if he does pick up that player option at the end of the deal. So basically ensures Joel Embiid is with the 76ers for the rest of his career and at the very least the rest of his prime. Of course, this comes after the 76ers had a very, very busy offseason signing Paul George that four-year, $212 million contract, giving Tyrese Maxey the five-year, $204 million contract, and making all these moves along the margins, bringing in a Kayla Martin, re-signing Kelly Oubre, really reformulating this roster, trying to make a push for the championship. And so it's obviously no question that the, six, that the Sixers were looking to give be this deal, lock down the core for the next four to five years, and really try to make a push at this thing because that's what Daryl Morey said they wanted to do this offseason with all this cap space was make the necessary moves they needed to make, bring in the star talent, make the moves on the margins, and put together a roster that they feel comfortable that with Coach Nick Nurse, they can make a run at this thing over the next few years. And Joel Embiid took to Instagram this morning after signing the extension and just what he has to say is, is music to Sixers fans' ears. There's been, I won't say speculation, but people like to try to bring up could Embiid leave, could Embiid leave. Look, this is what he said on Instagram after signing the extension. Philadelphia is home. I want to be here for the rest of my career. I love this community and everything you've given me and my family. There is a lot more work to do. You guys deserve a championship, and I think we're just getting started. Obviously, the city loves Embiid, and Embiid loves the city, and now he's here for, at the very least, the next five seasons to try to bring a ring back to the city of brotherly love, and hopefully they can get that job done. Now, I'm sure some people are thinking, like, that's a lot of money for a guy who does have his injury history, and sure, there is some risk for the team. Embiid has had his fair share of injuries over his entire career, obviously missing his first two seasons, only playing 39 games last year, rarely ever has played over that 65-game mark. But let's be honest here. Philadelphia was always going to give Joel Embiid this money. There's no question to give Joel Embiid this money. There's nobody in the league who has his rare combination of size, quickness, agility, skills. It's, it's just a no-brainer to pay an MVP like Joel Embiid, despite the obvious injury concerns. Now, signing him now puts you know some questions about him staying in Philadelphia to bed. He could have waited to sign a contract extension. There's certainly an aspect of timing to this to this deal because Embiid did have two years left in his contract. So why did he sign now? He became eligible to sign an extension this offseason and he could have waited. Now to sign the extension this season, if he wanted to sign it this offseason, he had to do it before the start of the regular season which he obviously has done. He could have waited till next offseason and signed a four-year, $266 million extension. Or he could have waited until the 2026 offseason and signed a massive five-year, $345 million extension. That's obviously more money than what he's signed for right now. But I think it's smart for him and the Sixers to kind of come together, sign this deal now, get it done. You know, for the Sixers, it's a no-brainer. 
Lock in your MVP franchise player as soon as you possibly can. Don't leave any questions on the table of whether he wants to stay or not. And for Joel Embiid, he obviously wanted to stay. So why not just get it done now? You know, for him, obviously he's dealt with injuries. So why put it off? Why even risk, you know, future serious injury that could jeopardize, jeopardize your money? Just get the deal done now and put all these questions to bed so you can just kind of lock in and focus on getting it done on the basketball court with all these new players and Coach Nick Nurse and winning that championship. And it's just such an amazing journey for Joel Embiid, you know, thinking back after being picked number three overall in 2014, missing his first two seasons with injury. People are thinking, is Joel Embiid even ever going to play basketball? It's It was a serious question because of him missing those first two years. But, you know, he was able to fight through it, came back, made his debut in 2016. And just since then, I mean, seven straight All-Star selections since the 2017-18 season blossoming into an MVP. I mean, you think about some of the career accolades and what he's been able to do in his career up to this point. I mean, 27.9 points per game. That's fourth all time. 11.2 rebounds, almost two blocks a game. The most points per minute all time. Per minute, the most efficient scorer that we've ever seen in basketball. A seven-time All-Star, as I mentioned. Five-time All-NBA. Three-time All-Defense. A two-time scoring champ. Obviously an MVP. Might have had another one last year if he stayed healthy. All he's missing now is that championship, and that's what the Sixers are hoping to to accomplish with all this money that they've been spending this offseason. And the breakdown of his deal, for those of you wondering what the money looks like year by year, adding those three years on to his original remaining two years on his contract, this season he's going to make $51.4 million. That'll rise in 2025-26 to 55.2, 2026-27 up to 59.5, and then things start to get really crazy. 2027, 2028, it's up to $64 million. And then in the final year of his deal, if he accepts this player option in 2028, 29, he'll be making $69.1 million. It is a massive extension. And we've seen, you know, this amount of money and these contracts rising every single year in the NBA because, you know, the salary caps rise and the league's bringing in more money. So players are just signing for more and more and more money. Joel Embiid is now part of the 500 million plus club, joining LeBron James, Steph Curry, Paula George, and Kevin Durant. So again, locked in for the next five seasons here with the 76ers. So now looking forward, you got your big money guys, Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, Paula George. You made the moves on the margins, bringing back Kelly Oubre, Kayla Martin, off the bench, you're open guys like Kyle Lowry, Reggie Jackson, Gershon Yabusele, K.J. Martin, Eric Gordon, Andre Drummond can make an impact. And then, of course, the rookies as well in Jared McCain and Adam Bona. So you have everything formulated now. There's no question about what your core is going to be. All that's left for the Sixers at this point is to go out and put together a good product on the floor and make a run at the championship. There's, you know, We've talked about it on the show over the past couple of days. There's really no more excuses left for this team. The the surrounding core is as good as it's ever been here. And you have a great coach in Nick Nurse. You have the surrounding pieces that you need. So now it's time to go get it done. Joel Embiid extension, just such an awesome thing to see for, for a guy like him who, again, there was questions if he would ever even play basketball after his first two years. And now here he is, five years, $301 million. It's just awesome for a player like him. I'm just so happy for him. He's obviously very excited, loves the city, and I just can't wait to watch his team play basketball, man. Training camp starting real soon. The season's starting real soon. It's an exciting time, and I can't wait to see this team hit the floor. If you are too, make sure to subscribe, lock us in. We're going to have you covered every step of the way the entire season as the Sixers try to make this push for the championship. News, rumors, analysis, we got all of that here on the channel. Hit that thumbs up icon, like the video, and we'll see you next time here on 76ers Now.